Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist, and today we got the Banlist Part 2 for Master Duel. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notice so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon in the description below for all those awesome rewards. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out this ban list. So we actually got another ban list for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel that's going to be taking effect on August 8th, 2024, which is very close to the previous list where we only had two cards actually move, which was Snatch Steel and Heavy storm on the previous list that i believe was taking effect on the 29th of july which is kind of weird to see a ban list take effect on the 29th and then have another ban list that's going to take effect so close next to this ban list that we've already gotten so this is really interesting for this particular ban list and it's actually larger than the previous one so let's go ahead and check out and see what's actually moving on this list so first off we have ido and gimmick puppet nightmare both being banned which i don't think this is the correct move i feel like banning the sanctifier dragon was the correct move because this is a total branded hit because they're basically trying to get rid of all the targets so that you can't summon out the copy of the sanctifier dragon and hand your opponent a monster so they can't play the game again i feel like this is a bad move i feel like you need to just go ahead and handle the problematic card which is the sanctifier dragon by handling these cards people are just going to find other targets to be able to use like Ra's disciple to be able to summon out the sanctifier dragon and hand your opponent a monster so they cannot summon at all which is just not fair and i feel like this is not the correct move to ban gimmick puppet nightmare and ido and i hope we don't see this in the tcg we just see the copy of the sanctifier dragon ban but overall really interesting glad they're handling it in some way but i feel like this is not the correct way to handle it again let me be very clear the sanctifier dragon needs to be banned because they're going to find other targets to be able to summon to your opponent's side of the field with this card to basically make it so your opponent cannot play. Hitting the targets didn't work with Crystron and Needle Fiber, and it will not work with the Sanctifier unless we ban like 10 to 15 cards, which isn't the correct answer. Already we're banning two cards when one would have done. So for the Unlimits, we have Trishula, Infernity Launcher, Double A Zeus, Sekka's Light, and super heavy samurai wagon we have no cards limited on this list and we have no cards semi limited on this list there's only seven cards that are moving on this particular list and let's go ahead and go card by card so for trishula i feel like this is totally fine the majority of players are either playing this at one or now that it's back to three in certain gimmicky decks they will put this card at three and be able to loot through this card multiple times but i feel like that's fine because this card is a really good synchro monster overall but it's not seeing a whole lot of play so I feel like this is a very welcome addition and might be we might be seeing the ice barrier cards coming into master duel soon because of this move which is maybe why they're actually giving us this list on august 8th because we might i guess be seeing a pack soon hopefully with the ice barrier cards i'm not sure but that might be why they're doing it we then have infernity launcher going to three i love infernities this is really cool to be able to see infernity launcher go back to three and it's really nice because it's gonna make infernity even more powerful and it's just really a great card for infernity that they need back at three because it's been power crept but i feel like this card is just amazing to have back at three so we can actually play infernity back at full power we then have double a zeus going back to three i feel like this is fine i said the last time that they moved zeus on the previous list not the previous list because the previous list was heavy storm and snatch deal but the list before that when they move zeus to two i said the next time they move zeus it will go to three because they're just moving it to two so eventually they can move it to three so they can basically pad a list so it looks larger than it actually is they could have moved zeus from one to three and it would have done nothing i feel like the only thing that this is going to see play in is basically extravagance like decks putting it at three in those kind of builds but i feel like this card moving back to three is totally fine but i feel like it is a welcome move to see zeus back to three this card either belongs at one or at three two does nothing to this card i feel like one or three is fine we then have seca's light i love the fact that seca's light is going back to three because it's going to make monster mash decks really awesome and also it's really nice to see this card go back to three because in super heavy samurai this card is extremely powerful because it's basically a draw two and it makes you encouraged to play more pure super heavy samurai decks instead of taking in weird weird cards here and there which i really like the fact that this card is going back to three because it's going to make monster mash decks really really nice for the last card we have super heavy samurai wagon i feel like this card was a weird hit to begin with so i feel like this card going back to three is totally fine it's really nice to have this card back at three because it makes super heavy samurai more powerful and it's really nice we don't have any snake eye hits on this list unfortunately which is a little bit sad i really wish we could have seen you know, another snake eye hit like putting popular to one or something like that so we could have had more hits for the deck maybe even hitting a 
Fire King card because the Fire King build is really insane. But maybe they're waiting until we get closer to the time of Fiendsmith to be able to hit the deck. But again, I feel like we should have maybe hit Bonfire to one. Maybe we should have hit Oak to ban. Maybe we should have hit Flameberg and ban Flameberg instead of Ido and Gimmick Puppet. But overall, interesting list. I feel like this is okay for the for the game right now. Is we're outing, we're basically trying to out a um, a Gimmick Puppet lock now, which is really nice that they're finally recognizing that. But it's a really welcomed list. So that's good for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely tell me what you think of this list down in the comments down below. Again, in the TCG, I really hope that we don't see Ido and Gimmick Puppet Nightmare ban because I feel like the correct way is just to ban Sanctifier Dragon. It's the correct answer. You don't hit the cards around the problem card. You just hit the problem card. So that's going to do for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely tell me what you think of this list down in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.